Okay, you guys, so this is kind of like um, an impromptu video because we um, do have a hurricane coming toward us. Um, they're saying category two, category three. So I figured this is a perfect time to show a hurricane prep video and kind of what we do during this time. So first of all, I have a little bit of anxiety just because it can be. There have been two hurricanes that I have been a part of that were major that I really remember, or three, Rita, but I don't really remember Rita. I remember it was bad. I just can't remember like the details, but I know Ike, we um, were out of power for like two weeks, and then um, Harvey, we were we didn't lose power, but the city was flooded, like flooded, flooded, underwater for like a week and a half, maybe even more, I don't know. So we're not worried like about our lives being in danger or anything like that. The only thing is, is that our main concern, which is very minor compared to what some people, this could be extremely devastating for a lot of people. Fortunately for us, we don't live that close to the coast. You know, we're a little more inland. So um, the, most we have to prepare for is just being at home for two weeks, maybe more. Um, because if all the power, if we lose like mass power, then it takes a while for the power companies to be able to get everyone back and running, which shuts down gas stations, grocery stores. Um, we do have a generator on our home and so we should be okay. But if something happens to it, like, it stops working or whatever there's no one that's going to be coming out to fix it so we also could be out of power you really don't know how these things are going to play out you can prepare as best as you can but you really don't know so we're i'm preparing for we will have power but everyone um like the grocery stores and stuff could possibly be out and it also brings out looting um i've seen just people lose their minds. They absolutely lose their minds. And so I just wanna make sure that I did a big target haul. So I don't know if y'all saw that already or if I'm about to show it now. So we're good with snacks and stuff like that. We have plenty of water. If y'all saw that video under our stairs, plenty of water, um, plenty of meats, plenty of milk and eggs and stuff like that. I kind of always have that stuff on hand, especially during hurricane season. Because right now, if you were to go to the grocery store, it is absolute chaos they'll show it on the news um just lines and lines crowds and crowds of people on top of the covid pandemic issue still going on so i don't know how you're going to social distance that many people in a grocery store but it's real like it gets so crazy so that being said i'm going to um when i i do have a little anxiety and so what do we do when we have anxiety my friends we clean <laughs> so I do want to clean up a lot of the places in the house just in case we are in it for a while we're starting on a clean slate it's going to make my mind at ease put my mind a little more at ease I can make it cozy for the kids if we have to light candles and stuff like that just have everything um, where it needs to be so I know where it's at the back patio needs to be completely um, cleared out so I may try to start on that while my husband's at work just to get a head start, but that patio furniture needs to go in the barn. My husband's coming home to chain down the trampoline because I don't know if you've ever seen a trampoline take flight, because they will. So we're gonna chain it down um, to the fence. So I thought I'd just take y'all along. Hurricane Laura. Okay, so we're just gonna start at one end and make our way down to the other. Um, <laughs> if you see these Quest Bars, they are open. I was starving while I was shopping. Does anyone like help themselves? Um, but I didn't like them, so I still bought them and I still ate that one because I was so hungry, but they're not my favorite. So I'll give them to my husband, he'll eat them at work. Um, so I got some of those due to hunger at the store. Mouth watering and you know, it's fine. Got some oranges for the kids, and I guess for me too. We'll cut them up and just a healthy snack. My son asked me for Gatorade, which is, you know, kind of odd the other day because he doesn't really drink it, but um, I got him some. So I got some more of the sparkling iced caffeine. Y'all know I love those. They're my favorite. Some onions. I don't normally buy produce at Kroger, 
but I did be just in case we needed some side items and I didn't want to go to H-E-B Lord no if there's a hurricane do not go to H-E-B you will regret it or do like curbside pickup I got some applesauce sugar uh, no sugar added applesauce I got my regular sparkling ice drinks I got these crystal lights with caffeine focus there it is with caffeine grape they taste so good they taste like grape kool-aid I love it um, these post-it notes were on sale. I just picked up some of those for in the office. These are what I like to snack on. I put a little peanut butter or jelly on these and make little yummy snacks. Caramel, chocolate, and regular. I got my kids. These are on sale. My kids don't. We haven't really ever tried the Annie's brand. But I went ahead and got a few because they were on sale. And supposedly they're organic and better. But I bet they'd like the sour ones. So they were like two for something, two for four, two for, I don't know. But I got them those. My son likes these smart food popcorn snacks. I use these when I cook my egg whites in the morning. I was trying to get snacks that they haven't had in a while and my husband likes these too. So I got some Chex Mix. These, um, because they are, they are going back to school. So I will cook these for them in the morning, put them in the thermos and they'll stay warm until lunch and they love having a warm mac and cheese for lunch. So I got those just, and plus we'll eat them here too, you know, cause they're not going back till September 9th or 10th, something like that. Um, some frosted flakes and some cocoa puffs. So my kids like those. My son will eat these dry. And then we ended up getting some children's Motrin because we were running low. I got regular Motrin and then my daughter's allergies were going crazy this morning. And I realized we have not been, you're supposed to do these like once a day and your body kind of uses them daily to fight off allergies and we have been slacking so I got her some more. So here's hurricane related items. <laughs> uh, the snacks are hurricane related too because we, you know, we'll need some snacks. But we need batteries for flashlights just in case, lantern. This is for our thermometer, face mask for, for when they go back to school because I'm pretty sure they'll have to wear them. Okay, we got some Dove Spray deodorant for my daughter. We got some Germex for when they go back to school. These are for movie night. They love these Pocky snacks and they were on sale, so I picked them up a few of those. I had to get an extension cord for my office because I couldn't plug my lamp, my charger, and my vacuum, my Dyson, all in the same spot. So I ended up getting this so I can kind of maneuver it around. I got two new chargers for their iPads. I buy these whenever I am randomly see them and I store them because they break them all the time. So I always have extras on hand. This is the body wash I use. I love it. Especially if you work out a lot and you're super sweaty all the time. This does really good because it has um, silicic acid in it. So I went to get like some of the new Mrs. Myers fall scents. They had nothing, absolutely nothing. My Target's still struggling from the COVID thing where they have no cleaning supplies. I did find, I do love the basil scent and this is a room freshener. I haven't used her room fresheners before. So I picked this up, an umbrella because hurricane, you know what I mean? And I didn't have one, so I was like, I guess I'll, you know, now's better than ever. So this is some stuff that is random that I found. Um, storms make my son very anxious, very anxious. And so I wanted to get him something that would kind of make keep him calm and keep his mind off of it so i got some hot chocolate so you can have a nice warm cup of hot chocolate with some whipped cream he'll love that uh, lexi too and then i got him a lego set because he will sit you know pay attention to this not worry about what's going on outside build his lego set and play it and i rarely buy it because i don't like legos <laughs> i think they're expensive and they are get put everywhere and so we have banned them from our home unless there's a hurricane <laughs> so i'll hide it in case it's not as bad as we think but if i do start and i'll use it for christmas but if i do start seeing him get super anxious and worried then i'll bust this out and he'll be like oh so happy about it um, I got my daughter one too because they'll do it together just at the kitchen table. And then this Guess Who game. I remember playing this when I was a kid. So I'm actually really excited to play this with them. Um, 
hopefully they will like it and it's just something if the power goes out or if something happens with the generator if something happens with the internet the tvs don't work no movie night no you know we have to ha we have to sit and do board games and stuff then i just got them this one and i thought it'd be fun um this is oh and then some this manila paper because they're online school so they are sending like little projects like virtually but you do them at home and then you take a picture and you send it back so which i wish they wouldn't but you know like why do we have to be so extra can't we just do a little worksheet and move on not a whole entire timeline of how pencils were made you know but that's okay i'm not complaining um so i picked this up because i'm noticing each day that they're needing some more like project style art supplies. Um, I got these for my daughter. They were on sale for $9, $10, $9.99. And they're a size four. I got them for next year. So I got her like a size and a half bigger in case she grows for next summer. But I figured they were on sale right now and these will kind of stay in style. You can wear these whenever. I also got her back here. Oh, I found these. So I'm going to put these for decorations for Halloween and for fall. These little tea light LED candles. Um, I got her these little cat shoes because we are, I figured these would be cute for Halloween too, but we are doing family pictures and she has no dressiness. Y'all know she's my little tomboy. So I figured these she would like because they're not pink or, you know, too girly and they have little cat ears. She'd love it. And then I got her this dress. So we're doing family pictures in like four or five weeks and, um, she doesn't really have anything and they're kind of more elegant than we usually do so i wanted to go ahead and get her a dress to wear and then we'll just base all of our outfits around hers because i just love this color and it's gonna look so cute with like her strawberry blonde hair and then these are the cozy leggings from target and they literally have like fur on the inside so she's gonna love those when it starts cooling off outside and she can wear them with her little boots and then just i got her some joggers to be cozy she'll wear those play outside sleep in whatever she wants but that is it so y'all wish us luck with this hurricane get this utility room all cleaned up we had stuff everywhere so i'm folding the laundry putting everything away making sure i get all of the laundry done today and tomorrow so that in case something happens with the power we don't have a ton piled up um and just sitting around waiting until we're able to do laundry again then i know i'll never be alone wherever all my wishes may be heading a part of us will never lead oh wherever in the world you may be hiding in a while i know you're coming home mm, tonight i know you will be coming home just throwing some laundry into the washer do you guys separate your laundry comment down below if you separate by colors i do not <laughs> um i've been doing laundry for a long time and nothing bad's happened yet but let me know if you separate by color i separate by like towels and jeans and like activewear type situation
Okay, so I'm wiping everything down. It's so crazy how therapeutic it is to have a clean room. Like those, not having those clothes all scattered on the counter. It smells good. I'm about to start vacuuming to get all the dog hair and dust out. It's just really helped my anxiety level having this room cleaned finally. <laughs> So right now, I want to get the patio picked up. We have a few things that are lying on the ground, but if you see all this furniture up here, so we live on a hill and on a regular thunderstorm, the wind gets insane, much less like a hurricane type wind or tropical storm type wind. This stuff would be all over the yard, in our neighbor's yard, just spread out everywhere. So. I want to go ahead and start getting all this stuff put into our barn and then cleaning up any of this little stuff down here that's just left from the kids. Um, you don't want it flying around and all that. So I'm going to do that right now. of the easiest way to get all of this cushions and furniture and stuff put away and my first thought was the golf cart so here I go I loaded the golf cart up with those cushions I'm taking them to the barn my motto is work smarter not harder <music> Okay, so this furniture is pretty lightweight, so I am able to move it without anyone's help. So I am scooting it closer to the barn and just getting it out of the way for now. Um, I was checking for spiders. There was lots of little critters living underneath that patio set. So um, I was trying to be careful. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just rolling up this rug and I'm going to put it in this corner and then I'm putting just a few random items onto the golf cart that I'm going to take to the barn because I don't want them blowing around or getting ruined and they'll just be safer in the barn. Okay, so now I'm just getting the patio furniture into the barn. It was not that heavy, so I just kind of drag it over there just to get it out of the way and um, locked up so that it's not blowing around our yard. 
Okay, so that is all that furniture is put in the barn. And then over here, I just rolled up that rug, put those two big pieces, cause they are filled, this is filled with beach towels. This is filled with scooters and beach toys. So they're pretty heavy. And then those chairs are pretty heavy. So I just put them in this corner. Um, I think this will be okay, but if hubby thinks that we need to put them all in the barn, then I'll help him load it up and put it in the barn just in case. It's whatever he's thinking. But that trampoline over there will get chained down to the corner of that fence whenever he gets home. Oh, y'all, that was exhausting. Okay, back inside. Okay, so just doing a little update. I just finished the patio, put everything into the barn, um, and now I think I'm gonna have some coffee because I'm exhausted. Uh, I'm gonna do coffee and then I'm going to pick up the living room, the kitchen, vacuum. I'm going to do another little laundry. So I'll probably do a voiceover and kind of explain this again. But the reason why I want to get all the laundry done, I don't want to have any piled up because in case for a few weeks something happened and we don't have power or whatever, um, and I won't be able to wash or dry the clothes. So we'll just end up being drowned in laundry so i want to get it all done put away it'll just be another like anxious thing that's off my list that's you know i'm kind of worried about so i want to go ahead and get that done um also what else okay under the stairs so this sounds like i'm a worry wart but just in case there are possible tornadoes or you know, if it gets crazy, I don't know. Um, we do have a plan as a family and we go under our stairs. So I wanna make sure that under the stairs there are, that's where we keep all of our water, but I wanna make sure there's plenty of space where we can just easily hop on in there if we need to. I wanna make sure there's blankets. Um, that's our stockpile room, so we already have snacks. You know, just, I don't know, okay, I don't know. You don't really know what's gonna happen. So I just wanna make sure that it's all clean where we have room, we don't have to worry. I'm not throwing things around, trying to rush the kids in their worst case scenario, okay? All right, let's keep going. Okay, so one of the last things that we'll do is we'll gather all the batteries, um, flashlights, lighters for candles in case we do lose power. Um, this little flashlight is my son's, but my husband has like the Milwaukee brand flashlights with the rechargeable batteries, and we have backup batteries that are already charged. So when he gets home, he'll start gathering all those. We'll put them in a spot that... Um, we can easily get to them. We know exactly where they are. They're not spread all around the kitchen or the utility room. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just gathering everything. I'm going to put them into one of these drawers so we know exactly where they are. 
Okay, and the last little part of our hurricane prep video is going to be under the stairs or our stockpile area. So we, I just keep like beans, canned goods, some little extra mac and cheese, coffee, pasta sauce, more canned goods, um, pastas, a big bag of rice, more pasta, just stuff that keeps and that if we need it, we have it, no big deal. You know, we can always toss some pasta together real fast. And then these are just extra cleaning supplies. I have, um, I put those extra phone chargers in here so I know where they are. More rice down there. I know it's strange to have all that rice, but we do. And then let's go over here. So this is all of the water. Um, if y'all saw my declutter under the stairs video, you kind of got the rundown with this water. So we always have a ton on hand, especially for scenarios like this. Um, so we're good to go. I don't have to go to the store and, and deal with all the crazies. There's probably no water left, honestly. Um, so we are stocked up. I also put um, these two blankets in here. And then I just made this space open so we could, if we need to, just come in here. Worst case scenario, um, this is probably one of the safest parts of our house because the stairs above us, there's nothing, there's no upstairs right here. So if you think about roofs caving in or the upstairs falling into the downstairs, there's nothing really above us. And these are pretty sturdy. And then, so yeah. Okay, you guys, so that is it for the hurricane prep video. Um, right now, it's still up in the air. It's supposed to hit, I think, Wednesday night, Thursday morning. Um, we still, It's still kind of iffy where exactly it's going to be, so we either may be just some rain, a little bit of wind, no big deal, or it may be like more intense. So I just wanted to be prepared. I am less anxious. When I am prepared, I would rather be over prepared than under prepared for anything. If it just ends up being